equipment for cars, vans, buses, bicycles, tricycles, and 2022 Yukon SUVs just like this. Need a PA system? Give us a holler. We can get you one. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Wicked Warnings again, displaying our 100-watt PA system right there. That's a Wayland PA system we did for this particular Yukon. This particular client wanted that. Uh, he's involved in some construction industry stuff where he might need to announce his presence on a job site once in a while. So, again, this is a 2022 Yukon. Uh, very nice truck by GMC. What you're looking at in the front is our 4-inch M power by sound off signal. It's an amber and white combination. You're looking at a pattern called intercycle and the center light is not only a uh, opposite color, but it's also the uh, alternate flash. That's what gives you the color swap. They call it in the pattern It's a color swap and an alternate to get this display. And we went ahead and just did three lights in the front because it ended up really nice. We may or may not add some windshield lighting to this customer is going to debate that. As you can see here, no shortage of brightness on those M-Power lights. And that install was extremely easy. We actually mounted them to the fiberglass bulkhead behind the grill. It's a 3M install, so you're going to use that Primer 94 promoter and drill a single hole for the wires. We like to drill a half-inch hole, more than enough size. And we got that the three areas right there are very easy to get to once you pull the trim off the back. Never mind the square body project over there. We're just going to rewire custom gauges, all kinds of stuff. Any square body fans? All right. Back to the video. So in the front, your sound off and powers. What you're looking at peeking through that back glass back there is our Wicked Slick Stick 2 head. That's an amber white stick. You can choose whatever pattern you like. And we mounted it right behind that dark privacy glass. But it does a pretty good job punching through it. I would say the light is adequate enough to be used. Sometimes you end up with some light heads that don't quite make it through the dark, dark privacy glass. I'll fully admit our thin X strip is a little bit underpowered to get through the real dark privacy glass. But the slick stick, as you can see, does a real good job punching through that dark glass. Here's a straight on shot. You can kind of see what I mean. Now, we're not messing around with the ISO at all. I can actually darken it and show you that if I wanted to make it look brighter, I could. But we're just going to leave the ISO at the regular automatic level there to give you a, a real clear picture of how bright that actually is. The other thing I really like about our slick stick is it has a wraparound lens. So as you get off axis, you really can still see the light. The lens curves at the end of it and wraps around. So you can see that about three quarters of an inch of the edge of the light there. It still shows even almost at 180 degrees. Uh, so very versatile light. Now around the back, what I'm most excited about is the 2022 Yukon plug and play auto flasher for the reverse lights. We're not Messing around with connectors, removing wires, we're just plugging an adapter in right underneath the vehicle. And I've got a full how-to video. We're going to link right here for that. Very easy install. Plugs in underneath the vehicle. No cutting of wires, of factory wires at all. And easily reversible by just unplugging the adapter and taking the kit out. On the gate itself, we have our Thinex. That's an amber white light. It's a Lin series too. And uh, that light has a 90 degree bracket also behind it. We did need to disassemble that gate, and I did a quick video uh, on that as well. The gate wasn't too horrible to disassemble. We take off that GMC placard, the top half comes off, and then you can drill a hole and mount those lights and run the wiring all up inside the gate, just like the factory license plate light wiring is ran. And if you were to ever remove those lights as well, if you bent down and looked up, you might see a hole, but you could always put a piece of black tape over it or put a uh, one of those plastic plugs with a Christmas tree type uh, retainer on it. You could put one of those up in there as well if you were to trade the vehicle in later. We didn't want to do any visible surface mount holes like next to the plate police style uh, in the actual gate body because if you ever to trade it in, you have holes in the lift gate. Here you'll notice as we open up the lift gate, we'll zoom in and show you just exactly where we ran the wiring. So as you can see there, we're not looping any wires on this particular one since we disassembled the whole inside of the hatch. We ran the wiring through the factory boot, so it comes out underneath the headliner and runs forward. So no wires exposed, nothing to worry about, and the glass on this particular uh, oh, uh, particular hatch opens. So we were anticipating and possibly thinking about doing a six head slick stick here. We're just unsure, customer is unsure, if we want to damage the headliner at all. And we're trying to work out a solution maybe where we cannot damage the headliner, but there's no no real way to 
to do that on this. We may end up having to put two holes in that headliner for a threaded rod to drop down. We'd end up using a riv nut and a threaded rod usually to hang that six head stick. And uh, on an SUV like this, it's a pretty nice SUV. So the customer's currently debating whether or not he wants to do that as well as whether or not we want to add visor lights on the front upper windshield. I'm going to show you these lights coming back down. And there you go. Alrighty, so as far as parts on this kit, activation, we're using our remote. I kind of like this little remote. It gives you two, so you always have an extra, you can put one in the glove box. And what's cool is if you're on the job site and you need your lights to turn on, you can turn them on. So, uh, I, you know, nice if you have a single on-off need, the remote works well. Front of this truck, we've got our sound off M-Power, four inch amber white. We're extending those with our 22-5. We're gonna wrap up 50 feet of that 22-5 to give you enough to extend those as well as the thin X on the gate in the back. So you'll have three M-Powers in this bundle, 50 feet, 22-5. You'll have your two gate mounted thin X. You'll have your 90 degree thin X brackets. You'll have your 3M primer promoter for your sound offs in the front. We're also going to give you your two slick sticks for the side windows in the back. Okay, you're going to get an auto flasher kit, which is going to come with everything you need for the reverse lighting running forward. The other thing this truck has, as I demonstrated in the beginning, was a Wayland PA system with our 100 watt wicked warning sticker. Speaker, not sticker. My bad. That speaker right there, you just don't pay that speaker no mind. It's just chilling out right back there behind the grill, just being loud, being proud, like it should. We mounted both the Wayland amplifier and the brain for this underneath the driver's seat, which kept all of our wiring nice and clean and neat. And we were able to have plenty of room. Now, we didn't need to screw it down to the floor. We just let it sit there by gravity. We checked the seat in all positions, and it never comes close to hitting it. So it's a great spot to put some equipment down there, as long as you don't spill your McDonald's Coke all over it, or uh, in any other way, get it soaking wet or damaged. So I think it'll live a nice, comfortable life underneath the driver's seat there. The other thing you're going to need here is a fuse kit, so we're going to put a fuse kit in. We pull, pulled our fuse right off the battery. This particular system, we're running a 20 amp main fuse as well as a 20 amp fuse on the Wayland brain. And uh, the lighting is then tied off of the same power wire as the Wayland brain. That's all set up right underneath the seat very easily. It's actually not a bad system to put in on your own. As far as how we mounted the slick stick in the back window, that was a custom bracket. It's just an L bracket. I don't necessarily have them for sale right now, but it's just an L bracket with some 3M double stick tape. So what we're gonna end up doing is, I'm gonna try to have that bracket added, but if, we, if I don't have it added, it's a simple L bracket, very easy to get. I will add in the 3M tape that we used underneath it, and that was by customer request. We're trying to not have any holes in the trim in the back of the truck. I know, right? Shut up and show me. I, I heard you, I get it. Let me show you. Alrighty, so back here in the back of the truck, you can see our slick stick. And that was just actually a bracket uh, left over we had from some other project that uh, we used. And um, it's just an L bracket, so it's not a big deal. We drilled one hole right here. That's where our wiring came down. Be careful, don't just go hog wild drilling a hole. We researched that there was nothing underneath there. Don't just go drilling holes anywhere. So that one single hole is easy to patch up. Now, if we drilled two or three more for a bracket, that's where we were trying to 3M tape. Now, we doubled up that 3M tape underneath there, did two layers. I used my primer promoter, cleaned it real well, held it on there real hard for a good minute. And so far, so good. It's, it's really locked in there. The whole panel moves when you pull on it. So I'm thinking this, Hopefully it's gonna live a nice life back here. If not, we'll go ahead and add a couple of screws to that bracket. But that's his, how we mounted that slick stick right in the back window of this particular truck and it worked out extremely well. Yep, there's one over here. Oh, square body. Yep, slick stick, square body, slick stick. I don't know if I took any still pictures of underneath the hood or not, but there's our power, there's our fuse tap right there. We just ran it around here, came straight across here with it, and then we ran everything through a hole in the firewall. Now, in this particular one, I went ahead and drilled a hole. You can either run through the factory boot there, through that nipple on the left, you cut that open and you can go through there. But because we had quite a few wiring wires here, and I know this spot right here, see it right there? That spot right there is basically just below. See the cable coming out right above it? Okay, so that spot right there is where we like to drill our hole. I'll show you on the inside. 
I guess it's a good thing I showed you because here we're going to include your three-quarter grommet as well. And that's where you can see where we've removed some of the carpet. We've drilled the hole there with a three-quarter unit bit. And that's where our wiring comes through really nicely right there. So it works out quite well. You could even drill a larger hole. You could drill two holes if you were running a stereo system as well. But uh, that's, that's a nice access point that we use quite often on these Chevrolets. What I was squawking on earlier was that Wayland PA system. We tucked it in quite nicely here. Uh, we went right through the bottom here with another one of those grommets right there. So we'll put two grommets in this kit for you. And uh, the wiring all came out here. And then I'll just show you a quick peek again underneath the seat there where we mounted the equipment. Nice and tucked away. Everything's pretty. Gosh, I almost forgot to show you the momentary switch here that we have wired in as well to the... Um, P, the Wayland PA, and that does your buzzer tone, so we know that tone. Well, very nice, aggressive, loud buzzer tone. We're going to put in one of those momentary switches for you as well, and uh, we're going to go ahead and put 25 feet of 18.2 in there to extend that momentary switch all the way back underneath the seat and whatever else you might need a little 18.2 for. So if you like this build, the build number is 20654. If you wanted to give us a shout and ask some more questions about it, we're gonna also put in an assortment of heat shrink tubing to make your job a little bit easier, but there'll be a some field connections and some final assembly and pattern setting that'll be up to you. So check the description for links to every one of these products singly. Check it for a dis link to the bundle, which will get you everything I talked about in one big kit. It is not pre-assembled. It's up to you to assemble it. So we'll bundle the parts together. We have no problem with that. And uh, that'll all be in the description. Thanks for watching Wicked Warning. So I hope you enjoyed this video. This brand new 2022 GMC Yukon AT4 Big Boy SUV. Square body.